Hello everybody and welcome back to Matt Hunts and Motorcycles. In today's video we're talking about Honda's all new e-clutch system. Since it's come out we've had plenty of customers asking us our comments, our feedback, but until now we've not actually had one here in the shop to be able to give some honest feedback. So what is the e-clutch system? Well it's Honda's very new clever system that combines all of their previous technology and puts it into one bike. So obviously it started off, the first thing that came out was a clever piece of technology that's called the quick shifter or the gear shift assist. And what this did, this went onto the gear linkage system and it was an electronic aid to help you get more smooth and seamless gear changes and if used correctly on the correct bike you're able to change gear without the need of the clutch. This system has been developed over the years and has got better and better and better. And then what happened next was Honda developed the very good and very popular DCT gearbox. Now we sell lots of the Honda bikes with the DCT gearbox, very clever. It's essentially fully automatic, but it's more like a car than a scooter. It actually does have a gearbox in it, but you've got no clutch lever, no gear lever. You can shift manually with paddles, so it gets mixed reviews. Some people love it, but traditional motorcyclists don't like the fact that you've got no clutch lever or no gear lever they feel that it takes away the true essence of a motorcycle. Now in my opinion, I think it's clever, it's safe, but again, there's a lot of people that like the true feeling of a motorcycle who don't like the DCT. So what Honda have done, put all that technology together and what that gives you is this fantastic e-clutch. So basically what we've got here is a normal motorcycle. So you've got clutch lever, a gear lever, you've got your quick shifter, but it's got a very clever system which is the e-clutch. So basically what happens is when this is activated you'll get the green symbol there on the display and basically what you can do is you can use this motorcycle without the need of the clutch. I'm going to demonstrate this for you further into the video but essentially once it's activated you can start the bike, don't touch the clutch, put it down into first gear and away you go. And then once you're set off you can then use the bike's quick shifter to change gear without the need of the clutch. So essentially, you've got yourself an automatic bike, but with a gear lever. One of the criticisms of the DCT, now this is something that I have personally found, is that it quick shifts, it, it changes gear really fast. Now for someone like myself with a former racing background, I'm used to using the torque and the revving of the engine to help the performance and the handling. If you're in a very high gear and the bike is lugging, it takes this away. So essentially with this bike, you're in control of the gear shifts. So you've essentially got an automatic bike, but you're in control of when you want to change gear. And I think it's very clever. So when used correctly, you set off, change gear with a quick shifter, but essentially you don't have to touch the clutch. You can roll to a stop in whatever gear you're in and the bike will just stop and hold. It is very clever. However, what you can do is you can turn it off and you've got a standard manual bike where you'll just pull the clutch in to do everything that you would normally do and you've basically got a standard manual bike with a clever quick shifter. So it really is everything you would need on this bike. You can ride in different days using different things. So you, one day you could ride it as an automatic or semi-automatic or the other day you can turn it off and ride it like a standard manual bike. So it is very, very clever. Another thing to note, even if it is turned on, if you was to pull the clutch in before you put it into gear, it straight away bypasses it and you've got the manual gearbox. So it really is a clever bike. Now, I am going to start the bike up, I'm going to demonstrate it, and I'm going to try and put my camera on and take you out on a ride. It is currently one degrees here and it was very icy last night, so I'm not going to go far because you won't be able to hear the noise of the bike from my teeth chattering, but my plan is just to take you down through the village and give you a quick demonstration of how this works. So before we start the bike, I'm just here in the menu, so I'm going to just quickly show you again, it's a beautiful TFT display, but as you can see, we go across and we select the e-clutch, and this is where you can turn it on or off. So again, if you want, you don't have to have it on at all. So it's a very clever system, You can, and you can also choose how severe you want the gear changes, how severe or how gentle you want. So obviously, it's generic there in the middle, that's obviously your standard go-to settings, but again, just to quickly display how you can there quickly turn it on and off. So now we are all up and running, and as you can see, 
the automatic e-clutch symbol is activated, so that means it's engaged. Now, as you can see, hand on the handlebars, we're not going to touch the clutch. And down we go into first gear. So as you can see, the gearbox is now engaged and we are not holding the clutch. Now what I'm going to do is get myself kitted up and we'll show you how this works going down the road. So here we are, I'm all suited and booted and we're quickly gonna go down the road. Now first up, this is my first time doing a video like this on the channel. So I'm not yet all set up with the correct microphone. So I do apologize if the sound quality is not the best. Feel free to drop in the comments and give me some tips as to what's a good microphone setup in helmet for the GoPro. But I'm going to start the bike and you'll see I can put it in gear without touching the clutch. I, you'll then see me set off like an automatic bike and I will then pull in just down the village and you'll be able to see me pull in without using the clutch. So the bike is now running and we're in neutral. First gear engaged without touching the clutch and off we go. And it's nice and smooth, it doesn't jerk or anything, just like setting off on an automatic. And again, we don't need to touch the clutch for anything, the bike's gearbox will hold it for you. As you can see, I've come to a stop and I'm not touching the clutch. Changing gear with the clutch shifter without using the clutch. So as you can see, I will now go up. can see I've come to a complete stop so yes the bike is telling me that I need to change gear but I've been able to come to a complete stop without using the clutch so again now I don't need to touch the clutch and I can go back down to first gear I've not had to touch the clutch at all and I'll now be able to set off again turn around and head back you can just change gear seamlessly without the clutch it really is so so clever As you can see come to a complete stop without touching the clutch at all so that was our quick ride demonstration done and as I'm sure you can appreciate a very very clever system so as we say you can just ride it without the need of the clutch you can stop no matter what gear you're in get yourself sorted and off you go again so in today's current climates with busier roads potholes everything all out there it just makes riding a lot easier it's one less thing for you to think about having to be in control of the gears but then if you want to just go and give it a blast and ride it like a true motorcycle, turn it off and away you go. 
So in my opinion, this is a very, very clever system and it's going to cater for a lot of bikers out there. I have to be honest, it really is one of the best motorcycles I've ridden. I really, really do think that this is such a clever system. Just the ease of it all. Even as a professional racer, you'd think, I'd be like, oh no, we need the clutch and everything, but no, out on the road, what you want is ease. And this is definitely one of the easiest motorcycles I've ever ridden, which let's be honest, easy means safe. So very, very clever. And that is why I believe these are gonna be a very, very popular bike. Now this bike will be going on sale soon, so keep an eye on our website and you'll be able to see it if it is of interest to you. And if, if not, if you've just come around just to see what the e-clutch is all about, I hope this quick little video has given you some food for thought and hope it will point you in the right direction. Again, this is the very first time I've ever done a video like this, so again, I, I think the volume quality won't be the best, the sound quality might not have been the best, but we've given it a quick go. Any feedback in the comments is always welcomed. We are a small family run business. I'm just trying to provide some different content. So please do like and subscribe, it all helps. And yeah, please keep an eye on our channel for more videos like this coming in the future.